I've got another story to share with you today. It's The Bernstein Bears Hug and Make Up by Stan and Jan Bernstein with Mike Bernstein. And I'm reading with permission from the Harper Collins Christian Publishing Company. And on the very first page, it says, when bears are angry and don't get along, a hug makes up for what went wrong. See the circle of bears? There's the bear family treehouse. Looks like people are not getting along already. Nobody gets along nicely all the time. Not the birds in the trees. Not the squirrels in their hidey holes. Not the deer in the forest. Not even the members of the bear family who live in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country. Looks like they might be getting along on this page. Maybe. Mama bear, papa bear, brother bear, sister bear, and honey bear got along nicely most of the time. They remember to say please and thank you and excuse me most of the time. Except for baby honey, who was just learning to walk and talk. They were considerate of each other's feelings most of the time, and brother and sister tried not to take too long on the phone. Looks like they're getting ready for bed on this page. But even happy families, like the bear family who love each other very much, don't get along all the time. It didn't happen very often, but there were days when the whole family woke up grouchy and got up on the wrong side of the bed. When it happened, though, it made for a bad day in the treehouse. It could start with brother or sister taking too long in the bathroom on a busy school morning. It could start with somebody leaving the cap off the toothpaste tube. There's Mama Bear with baby honey. There they are eating. It could start with somebody accidentally stubbing a toe. Yes, even Mama sometimes started off on the wrong foot. It didn't help when Baby Honey decided to join in and start crying at the top of her lungs. Things got even worse at breakfast. Mama manners had been forgotten. Nobody said, please pass the jam. Or, may I have the honey? The bears just reached and grabbed. Their dog, Little Lady, whoops, I'm hiding her with my phone. Their dog, Little Lady, got a little worried and hid under the stairs. Goldie, the go goldfish, hid in her underwater castle. Brother finished first and shouted at sister, who was having a second helping of cereal. Come on, you slowpoke, or you'll make us both late for the school bus. Who are you calling a slowpoke, you dumb head? Sister shouted back. You were the one who made us late yesterday when you forgot to have Mama sign your test paper. That'll be quite enough, quite enough shouting and name-calling, roared Papa, banging the table so hard that he shook the whole treehouse. And quite enough table-banging, said Mama. You're worse than the cubs. Grrr, said Papa, jamming his hat on his head and storming out the door. They're getting on the school bus and playing on the playground. Brother and sister usually sat next to each other on the school bus, but this morning they came onto the bus looking like storm clouds. I saved you your seats for you, said their friend Lizzie Bruin. I wouldn't sit next to him if he were the last bear on earth, said sister. That goes double for me, said brother, stomping to the rear of the bus. All through recess and lunch break, they refused to have anything to do with each other. See him standing? After school and they're still fighting. As soon as they got home from school, the shouting and the arguing started all over again. They argued about where to have their after-school milk and cookies. 
on the kitchen table or in front of the television. They argued about which video to watch, the Bear Stooges or the Bear Bee Show. Soon they were rolling around on the floor and fighting over the remote. Oops, here's Mama. She's going to take care of it. I've had quite enough of this fussing and feuding. There'll be no television today, said Mama. She not only took away the remote, she pulled the plug on the television. Just sit yourselves down and do your homework, and I don't want to hear another peep out of either of you. See them plugs? Did they do their homework? Bear and sister sat at the dining room table and tried to do their homework, but they were so busy looking daggers at each other that they couldn't concentrate. They were just too mad. Oh, here comes Papa. There they are. By the time Papa came in from his shop, the bears had day the bear's bad day had become a full fledged family feud. Little Lady was still hiding under the stairs, and Goldie was still hiding in her castle. Angry silence filled the air. Grimface brother was trying to reach the next level on one of his video games, but he kept falling short. Tight lipped sister was coloring in a coloring book, but she wasn't staying in the lines very well. There they are. Mama's reading her magazine, and Papa's reading the newspaper, and sister's still coloring. Angry Mama was trying to read a magazine. So Papa sat down glowering and pretended to read the newspaper. But it's hard for folks who love each other to stay angry all day, especially if they really don't have anything to be angry about. Sister was the first one to break the silence. There they still are. Mama, she said. Yes, said Mama. That magazine you're reading, said Sister, starting to giggle. You've got it upside down. Why, so I do, said Mama, with a small giggle of her own. Oh, she's starting to giggle. Looks like everybody's going to giggle. Now it happens that giggling is as contagious as the 24-hour virus. More quickly than it takes to tell the whole to tell, the whole bear family was laughing uproariously, except for baby honey, who until that, that moment was having a long, quiet nap. Oh, they're laughing some more. They were laughing so hard that their sides hurt. They laughed so hard that tears rolled down their cheeks. That's hard laughing. And what they were la what were they laughing at? They were laughing at themselves for wasting a whole day being angry with one another about nothing. Little lady came out from under the stairs. Goldie came out from her underwater castle. And Honey Bear saw her once angry family dry their tears and hug and make up. And that is all. I like it when we hug and make up. I don't like to be angry. Thanks for listening.